Hey everyone, Techni here with a review on the SPC Gear Lix Plus Lightweight Gaming Mouse. Now real quick, I believe this is only available overseas. I know this is a company out of Poland, and ever I look up for it, I only get the Euro price right there. I can't find it anywhere stateside, but let me tell you what, SPC Gear, if you're watching this, you need to get this mouse stateside. Let's find out why. Number one, the packaging is solid right here. I mean, look at this packaging. It's really hard, plastic, real rugged looking case right there. Just really cool packaging. Inside, you get some paperwork, a sticker, and some extra feet. But where the goodness really starts is whenever we pop this mouse out right here. Number one, take a look at the shape right there. Definitely feels a little FK-ish to me, right? Zowie FK right there, really low hump. Centered a little bit more in the middle right there. Really nice, I can actually palm this mouse, fingertip it or claw it. Now, yeah, the stinker is, is it does have the little cutout honeycomb on the side. You all know I do not like that, me being a tight gripper. Starts hurting my thumb after a while, so I think I will be looking for some grips for the outside right there. But as far as the base shape, wow. It is amazing. Going right along with the shape and dimensions right there, this guy comes in at 59 grams and it's very balanced. Not too heavy in the front, back or middle, just very balanced across the entire mouse. And that goes right into the cable right here. Very lightweight cable. Not too tight, so it's not real stiff, very flexible. I really, really like the cable on this mouse. Now let's talk about the button placement on this mouse right here, and this is gonna differ for everybody. I honestly love it. And starting with the side buttons over here, if you look closely, you can see they are pushed significantly much more forward than we see in a lot of mice right there. So definitely for me, being more of a palm or claw gripper, bam, they are right there in the absolute fantastic position for me. But I start thinking about it, if you get back into that fingertip, you're I'm just gonna come back a little bit and I feel like you're gonna be reaching for those side buttons. Again, this will differ for everybody, but again, for me, like if I get into that fingertip, I gotta start reaching for the side buttons. But again, if I'm in that paw, that palm or that claw, bam, right there, absolutely fantastic. And as far as button one and two up there, plenty of ground to cover right there, really nice. So if you're all over your mouse and it actuates anywhere when you press them, no wobble. Now if I get down here and lean into them, I do get a little wheel to wobble, but whenever I'm basically pressing Pressing them, none whatsoever. Scroll wheel, again, really nice and recessed right there. Nice rubber coating and it feels fantastic. It's not too clicky, not too thumpy. Really, really nice scroll wheel here. Now your DPI button is right behind the scroll wheel right here. And whenever you press it down, it actually flashes a light inside of the back of the mouse right there, just to let you know you are switching that DPI. Now underneath the mouse, as far as performance right here, we're using a 3360 sensor. And as far as the feet, I wouldn't say the best. They definitely get the job done, but I wish the edges were at least rounded out. I get a little bit of scrapey sound on them, a little bit of drag. So definitely go on and slap some replacement feet on these things. And I think you'd be good to go. Now you do also have RGB on this mouse. As you see, you got that line in the back, the SPC logo inside, and then your scroll wheel. But all three of these points right here are controlled only by one effect. So again, you can't change the scroll wheel, the back, and then the logo. Again, if you set it to red, everything's gonna set to red. If you set it on color flow, everything's gonna set to color flow as far as it changing right there whenever you press your dpi button again that light will change different and you can change that color of your dpi setting per each different dpi all right so all in all my opinions on the spc licks plus gaming mouse right here Wow, I mean, this thing is a stinking gem. Hands down, this mouse is awesome. And if you're overseas and you can scoop this up, definitely scoop this mouse up right there. I really hope they bring this to the States. Now online, it's coming in around, I believe, 45 euros, and that comes in at right around 50 US dollars. So if they bring it to the States, would it cost more than that? I'm sure you gotta pay all the import and these taxes, this, that, and the other. But heck, I'd even recommend this thing at 60, 65 bucks. I mean, this mouse is just awesome. It just fits fantastic in my hand, at least, with that button placement and, I mean, come on, the style. Like, must I say anymore, it's black and red. But hey, let me know down in the comments if you use this mouse and what you think about it right here. Again, if you can get your hands on it, yes, I 100% highly recommend you scooping this mouse up right here. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on the SPC Lix Plus Gaming Mouse. I hope I was able to help you out if you're looking into this mouse, and I hope Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.